Hey folks, Rich here at RC Informer. Today I have an early sneak peek preview unboxing video of a brand new plane from FMS Models. This is their 1200 millimeter Nanchang CJ6. This is a 19 or late 50s, uh, early 60s era uh, military primary training uh, airplane. Uh, this looks like a really nice rendition of it. It looks a lot like a Yak-52, except it has a little more dihedral in the wing. This is a three-cell airplane powered with an 840 kV brushless outrunner. And you can see that really nice three-bladed prop in there that we'll get a closer look at. Um, this is an early paint sample of the plane, guys, so you're getting sort of a sneak peek, a really preview of this thing. Uh, of what it's going to look like, but it is an early sample and uh, it looks really nicely packaged in there. So let's go ahead and get all the parts out, lay them out, and uh, we'll take a closer look at everything. After getting all the parts out of the box, it has become very clear this is a very simple airplane to build. Uh, FMS has gone to great lengths to make sure that uh, you have to do really as minimal work as possible. Uh, you can see there's really just a, a few components to this plane. Uh, the wing really just bolts on, it looks like with four bolts. And it looks like the tail is going to go on with, it looks like two underneath, and that's, that's about it for most of the construction, guys. The uh, prop and spinner just bolt on. You've got a little pitot tube here um, with a little spear sharp tip at the end that you just poke into one of the leading edges of the wings, and you're all ready to go. The uh, fuselage uh, already has the 840 kV brushless outrunner installed, 40 amp speed controller, uh, also your re nose retract in there. And, uh, and your tail servos, of course. It uh, looks like probably your uh, either, it looks like the elevator uh, servos right here, and I think the rudder's mounted inside with a push rod. Uh, your elevator's ready to go, and your main wing has landing gear, uh, flap servos, aileron servos, everything's all installed and ready to go. So really nicely prefabricated. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at each of the individual parts. The first part up to show you is the uh, main fuselage. You can see here, it has a nice finish on it. Pretty typical of all the FMS airplanes. Nice stickers and trim uh, attached. Uh, now keep in mind, uh, this is an early paint sample, guys, so um, it tends to have a little bit of roughness to it. Sometimes when I get them, these are, uh, I usually, you know, I product test every single one of these for FMS uh, and make sure it's up to spec, uh, really, uh, before they go into production on a lot of these things. Uh, but it looks really nice how they have this uh, all set up. Very neat and clean. You can see the nice scale louvers. Uh, looks like probably a, a scale uh, air cleaner uh, grill right there. Exhaust stacks underneath and so forth. But up front, uh, you're looking at the uh, 840 uh, KB brushless outrunner in there. Uh, as we run along to the underside, you can see also here where the screws mount to uh, mount the cowling in place. And as we run underneath, uh, we can see the metal trunnion retract right there, there and the uh, metal arm also. You can see the uh, nose wheel steering uh, servo there as well. Looks like a pretty robust nose strut. As we go down to the uh, screws here, looks like we got metal threads down there, okay, for the wing screw. So definitely something FMS does on a lot of their airplanes is using uh, metal machine screws with uh, metal threads. You can see even the, the tail antenna here is uh, already installed, so you don't even need to do that cooling holes in the back to bring the air out of the airplane. And as we run along here, um, you can first of all see your, uh, your rudder linkage already connected. These are the nicer, uh, heavier duty ones from FMS with fuel tube wrapped around it. Uh, nice plastic uh, horn here to uh, distribute the load. And then of course your elevators, you can see right there, just really just slides right in here. Two bolts grow up to the, go up through the bottom and you're good to go. Um, there is a linkage in the bag right there that you uh, join your elevator and your elevator's on there and ready to go. So uh, really nice fit and finish on this thing, guys. Uh, it looks like, uh, looks a lot like a Yak-52 or a Yak-18. Very, very similar to it. Looks like there's a little pile in there. Not a lot of instrument detail, but uh, uh, you know, it gets the job done. Now on the back here, you have tape to pull up the canopy here. Tongue and groove in the front, pilot screwed in. And it looks like there's a rare earth magnet in the back there to, to secure this thing in place. You can see the aft magnet there. Uh, your rudder servo is right there as well. And that's good. There's a separate rudder servo and a separate nose wheel steering servo. So you can fly this plane actually off of six channels uh, with a Y harness with your rudder servo and your tail uh, or your nose wheel steering servo. Um, or you can split them, use a seventh channel and set up a, a trim for that, which is really nice. So you can have a, a nose wheel steering trim. 
Uh, we can see the ESC in here. I'll see if I can flip that around here and uh, show you that. It's just kind of hanging in here, which is typically how these things come, but you can secure them where you need to. You can see the 40 amp FMS ESC in there and your uh, T style uh, connector in there. Uh, looks like a really nice uh, battery compartment floor. It's inserted into the side walls there so it won't come out if you want to do inverted flight and so forth. This thing's really only meant to run on three cells. Three cell, 2200 pack, bolts right down there. We'll check the CG as we get it flying and we'll report to you. But uh, overall guys, this looks like a really nice little airplane coming out of the, uh, out of the package. Uh, and it looks very well made. Definitely an A plus on the fuselage here. While I got the fuselage out here, I thought I'd show you how easy it is to uh, install the horizontal stabilizer and the elevator. You can see it just plugs right in and plugs right out. Uh, it looks like with this particular airplane, uh, they've gone to a, a torque rod, metal style rod with uh, plastic actually on both sides. Uh, single horn on the, on to, to drive this thing or single horn to, oper to operate it and activate it. Uh, but it, it does have a metal rod running between the two halves, which is really nice. And again here, you can see how easy that just plugs right in. Two screws go through the bottom. You put your uh, linkage on and your elevator is uh, completely installed and ready to go. The last major part to show you is the uh, main wing panel. You can see it all comes really complete and uh, ready to go. I really like those uh, Chinese graphics. That red and yellow really stands out on the green really nicely. You can see here through the center as we run here into the middle, all the wiring is done. Everything's ready to go. Everything's labeled, you know, rudder, gear, flaps. Interesting thing, there's a single flap servo and actually a single flap on this airplane that's pretty cool. It's a, a single split flap in there. Uh, nicely uh, engineered and sort of installed in there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and drive this for you. It's usually not good to do this with uh, servos, but for the purposes of the demo here, I'll show it all to you. You can see with the servo as it comes down, you have a single center split flap like the real airplane had, which is very, very cool. And you can see that retracts nicely. As we look at the underside of the wing here, you can see the linkages. Again, these are the heavy duty uh, clevises that uh, FMS uses uh, on most all their planes nowadays. Very nice style horns that they're making nowadays. This is sort of a new design where that's buried in there. So you don't have anything out of the top. No screws are needed. They divided up the surface area uh, with all these little uh, moldings and it fits in there real nicely. All the hinges are uh, laminated foam hinges all about in the airplane so uh, really nice the way that is set up and as we run into the center here real impressed with the retracts and the installation of this thing this is sort of a newer design from FMS um, their trailing arm suspension uh, I don't think there's any linkages or compression to it but but a very nice fit and finish on that landing gear very very slick uh, you can see here the the doublers where your four wing screws go in where this thing just connects and goes together uh, overall, really nice. Again, guys, this is an early paint sample uh, that, I, that I product test like I do with all the other planes uh, with FMS. So, but overall, it looks like a really nice, really nice airplane, guys. Um, again, this plane is very similar to a Yak-18 or Yak-52, but the big distinction is the, uh, the sort of the, uh, the dihedral in the wings where, the, uh, where they, they split right here and you have a little bit of dihedral on both sides, so instead of a straight wing like those airplanes. But, Overall, guys, really, really nice wing panel. All right, guys, these are the last few parts that I have to show you. Uh, I never get any instructions, really, with my airplanes because uh, uh, I do all the product testing on these things, and, uh, you know, the production version will no doubt come with a set of instructions, although there's really not a lot of assembly to this airplane uh, anyway. But uh, I'll figure out the CG and all that stuff as I fly it, and if there's any issues with it, I'll, uh, I'll report on it to you guys. Um, but uh, starting right here, a little pitot tube with a little uh, sort of pencil tip on it. And I believe that sticks into one of the wings. I'll look at that later. And then you just put a little contact cement and that kind of glues it or keeps it in place. Uh, also the parts bag, just some wing and tail screws, guys. The prop uh, nut and prop, uh, or spinner nut, I should say, the spinner screw. And, uh, and of course the elevator rod. And that's it, guys. This thing goes together real easy. Very nicely engineered propeller with a hex drive in the back that fits onto the uh, prop drive. Really nice spirally painted spinner, very scale and looks really good. Has a mesmerizing effect when it, when it spins. Real nice uh, painted uh, prop tips. Now the prop itself, take a look, uh, prop is a 11-8 uh, 
uh, and it's very, very scale painted and just like uh, the real airplane. So anyway, guys, we will be getting this out to the field just as soon as we can give you a flight demo. Be checking uh, for this airplane coming from FMS models uh, shortly. Again, we'll flight test it here, get it out, give you some flight demos, and uh, show you guys how this thing flies. Thanks for checking out, guys. RC Informer, as always, and we will see you next time. Thank you.